The topic of implant rupture is a very appropriate and important question for us to spend time discussing with the patient. And I think the key thing is we know implants are not lifelong devices. So we really need to educate patients to know that there'll be a degree of surveillance and there's a high likelihood that, you know, the device will need to be replaced at some point in the future. I do recommend for the ASPS guidelines, either MRI or ultrasound starting five or six years post-operatively and then every two to three years subsequently. And I educate my patients about indicators for rupture risk. I also follow them annually to examine them, photograph them, and if there's any doubt in my mind, I will refer them to imaging. We talk about every option. We talk about all the complications during their consult, and part of that is talking about rupture because I remind them that this is a device. This is a medical device. I'm Dr. Essie Yates. I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My name is Dr. Ashley Amalfi. I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon at the Cotella Center for Plastic Surgery in Rochester, New York.